Hey, welcome back to CodeZing.org. We're going to do another Python programming project today. This is level three. Um, the title of this is Join the House of Lords. So if you don't know, the House of Lords is part of the British Parliament. Um, and you can find the code for this one at CodeZing.org backslash MP. Uh, MP for member members of Parliament. So if we go to the website codezing.org and you click on the level 3 code here, you scroll down to join the House of Lords. So this is another web scraping um, chunk of code. So it goes out to a website, parliament.uk, uh, MPS Lords and Offices backslash Lords. So it goes to this website and pulls the list of all the uh, members of the House of Lords. And I like it because, honestly, they have kind of some silly names. So, um, you know, it, it kind of gives you one of their one of their titles. Um, if you click through a few, you'll see they're they're a little silly. Not to totally make fun of the British, but there are some pretty funny names. Um, so let's 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 take a click. What do we got? Lord Newburg of Abbotsbury. Um, Lord Falconer of Thornton. So if you want, you play a little game. You can, uh, you and your friends can all get titles and see if you can call yourself by those titles all day. Lord McGregor of Pullum Market. Um, Lord Swinfin. All right, <laughs> that's enough. Anyhow, let's uh, let's take a look at this website that we're going to scrape from. Um, copy. Just paste that in. So here's the URL, and you can see what it does. It has a nice little table of all the members of the House of Lords. And there's a lot of them, too, which kind of makes it fun. Um, click that thing a bunch and get different different names all the time. Um, yeah, a whole lot of them. Anyhow, uh, so web scraping in general, if you don't know, takes the HTML from the website and allows you to search through it to find information. So if you've never done it before, looked at the HTML, which is the computer language that drives the display, the format, the information on a website, um, you can right-click on the website and click View Page Source. If you do View Page Source, it will load up all of the HTML and the other CSS, and uh, if there's any JavaScript, all that uh, information will be get pulled in. So. You can see it's pretty long, right? I mean, if you scroll through the whole thing, there's a lot, a lot of information in here. And most of it is informing the website how everything should be displayed. Um, you know, where all the boxes go and the dividers and how these links work and where they link to, all the drop-downs, right? All these pretty, pretty functionality here um, is all defined in this code. So... Sorting through that can be a little bit of a mess and is kind of the bigger challenge of doing web scraping. Uh, on top of the fact that once you set up your code, if they change the website, um, your scraping might um, stop functioning. So let's take a peek. We can already see we found the, the section that has the table of all the, of all the, the members. So let's take a peek at the code and see how, uh, how we're pulling that in. So if you go to the view Python code and let's copy this guy and open up spider paste that in if you don't have spider or Python um, one you're probably in the wrong level but you need to head back to the website uh, follow the links in the videos to get it installed so we are doing kind of the same as the best in show program we're importing uh, beautiful soup which is the library that sorts through all the HTML and structures it so that it's searchable and usable um, requests is a Python library that uh, goes out to the web and gets that uh, HTML and then import random we're going to use to pick a random one at the end to display um, and we've used we've used random quite a bit our first variable is just URL, and that's the actual URL that we went to. So if you want to scrape a different website, you can change the URL here. This variable page is just the actual text of all the HTML. And then this soup equals beautiful soup. It's taking that text version and parsing it to make it usable um, so that you can search it, you can find stuff in it, you can navigate the HTML easily. 
using the beautiful soup library. Um, and then our list of MPs, actually this one's fairly simple, we're just going to pull from soup all of the um, TD tags. So TD is, in HTML stands for table data. And you can see in the HTML that this indeed is inside of a table data tag. So the information we want is this um, this name, Duke Wellington, and it's contained within this table data tag. All of them are within the table data tags as well as their their party. So this is probably going to pull back more information than we want. Um, why don't we print the, let's print out the MP from site. Um, and on the other ones I showed you that this the soup is all of the HTML, so and it's such a mess we won't print it out, but it's basically an exact copy of this, um, all of this data. So we'll do MP from site and let's just let's run that and see what does MP from site give us. It takes a little second to run and you can see MP from site is quite a bit of information as well. So if we scroll back up to the top we'll see that it is grabbing all of the TD tags like we told it to um, and we are getting the information we want here. You can see Lord Aberdare um, is what was grabbed, but we also grabbed a bunch of other stuff too here. We grabbed a a link to the website that has, I guess, Lord Abadair's biography, and we grabbed a bunch of HTML tags that we don't need. So these next steps sort through that, right? So it's going to create this, what we ultimately want is a, a Python list of all of the MP names. So that's what's going to be stored in MP list. Uh, so I created a blank one, and now we're going to start looping through, parsing the information and appending it to this list. So for item in MP from site, and that's this stuff we grabbed, we are going to append the um, append the string version of that. So this step, I do believe, gets rid of the HTML tags. So let's print um, MP, MP list and see what it managed to append. So we don't need that anymore. That's a bunch of junk. Um, and we'll pull that and let's see what we ended up appending. And you can see we did wow, well. We ended up with, with the names. So one quick step. We looped through each of the items in that long list of HTML tags and we found the item.string is the string version of what's between the tags. So, cool. Looks like we're mostly done. Oh, except it's not so pretty. Not exactly what we want. You can see each item. One, we got these um, party stuff in here that we don't want. I don't think, or at least uh, we don't really need. And then the names are backwards, right? Instead of, we want, we want it to display Lord Razal, but uh, it's a Razal, comma, Lord. So little bit of work down here to mess with those strings and get them in the right um, right order. So this is for item in MP list. So this is MP list now. So it's going to loop through each one of those items between the commas and it's going to say if there is not a comma in the item, remove it. So I do believe that will get rid of all of these party labels. Conservative, Liberal Democrat, they do not have a comma in them and then all of the names do have a comma. You can see comma in there and um, comma in there. So it's looking through, it's going to look at each item, if there is no comma it gets rid of it. So let's print out our new MP, MP list, MP list, and this should give us the same list but without the labels, and bingo. All right, so we got rid of everything that didn't have a comma, and now we're left with the names that do have commas, yet they are still backwards, so we've got to fix that. So this is kind of the process, especially with web, web scraping, is you, you try to pull, you know, you start with a big bunch of information, you start skinning it down until you get just the information you want, which is where we're at. We just have the names, and then we're going to need to format it so that we get the uh, last part first, first part last, switch it around. But it's also a little tricky because some of their other names are longer, so it's not so simple as just switching um, Let's see how we manage that piece. So MP list final is uh, an open list that we're going to create, and we're going to loop through this, our MP list that we just created, and we're going to split the item into its components. Um, 
So let's see, split item. And that should break all of these into, so it should create a new list that's Walmart, comma, of, comma, leads, and then Lord. Why don't we, let's just run that, let's see if that is indeed what it does. If we, yeah, so it takes each item and then just chunks it into its own separate Python list and breaks it into pieces. Um, so we're gonna do that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the last one. So that's what the split item minus one is the last item in the list. So you can use minus one to count backwards from from the end of the list. So if you did minus two, it'd be cook em. If you did minus three, it'd be of. So minus one is Lord. So we're gonna grab that. So we did print um, string mp name. So print the split item and then print um, the the first. And you can see it's grabbing the first one, right? So this is kind of separating the title, Baroness, Lord, um, Viscount. So it's grabbing this last piece and creating, starting a string that starts with that, which is what we want. So we've got the item split, we're grabbing the title and putting it first, and then for word in range to the end of the split item minus one. So that's all of this, right? So it's going to look through younger of Lecky and minus one, it's going to ignore the Viscount. And it's going to add those to what we already created with Viscount. So it's going to do Viscount, then it's going to loop through and say younger, okay, append that of, append that Lecky, append that. Till you get Viscount, younger of Lecky. And that's what this little, oops, ooh bunked it up there. All right, four word in range. So it's going to go boop, 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 and append them to the end there. And append the final for each one, Viscount Younger of Lucky, to our final master list of all the names. So, well, maybe we can, why don't we show that? Let's, let's check it out. Um, print, uh, let's print word, and we'll see into how it's doing a print, uh, print this um, string mp name here. Let's just run that. We can kind of watch it, watch it work on one of these as an example. Uh, oh, the word is a. So you can see how it's building that. It starts with by count, which we pulled out up here, the first item, and then it's adding younger, and then it's looping again and adding of, and then looping again and adding lucky. So kind of cool, and you can see it did it here, Baroness. So it grabs Baroness and puts that first, and then adds Younger of Old Scone. Baroness Young of Old Scone. All right, um, and that's it. Once it has a complete final list of all the names in the format that we desire, let's, why don't we print that out? Let's, we did all that hard work. Let's see how it came out, the list, final. We'll see, we get our nice, our full Python list of every member of the House of Lords, and it looks pretty. Lord Wolf, Bishop Porchester, Lord Rigglesworth, Baroness Wild, um, and put them all on the list. Looks like we have a little bit of chunkier top back too. I don't know, I must have somehow scraped some of the website directions or something on there. Um, but considering there's so many we're pulling a random choice, you're probably not going to get that one. So I don't. there's no reason to go back and write a whole bunch of additional code to loop through and test for you know these outliers. Um, instead, we're just going to pull a random choice. But hey, who knows? Maybe if you play the game, you might get top back to is your, <laughs> your House of Lords name. All right. Um, print at the end your name in Parliament is, and we're just going to pull a random choice from the MP list. So the random choice is just a random integer from zero to the length of the list, um, and it will it will return an integer, and that integer will go in here, and that's how you select from a list. You name the list, square brackets, the integer, which is the position of the item, close brackets, and that'll pull one random selection. So we'll run it one more time for fun, maybe a couple times, because it is fun. Um, Baroness Young of Old Scone. Hey, that's the one we were just looking at. Lord Batacharya. And Lord Chigdi. Chid Chigi. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, Lord Chigi. I don't know how to pronounce your name right. Bishop Southward. Alright, cool. Uh, a few lines of code. 
you know, we, we go out, get the full text, skinny it down until it's what we want, and then in the right order, and we, we make a random choice. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, I think it's neat that you can do that in programming. Um, like I said, you know, look at look at other URLs, see what's out there, if there's another table or something that you think you can scrape successfully. Uh, give it a try. Um, you know, see see what you can do if you write something cool. You can feel free to submit it at info at codezing.org or through the website. Um, we'll we'll post it if it's cool. If it's if you did something unique, um, we'd love to add to the site and let people learn from what you're doing. If um, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them under the video or you can submit them, email them to info@codesing.org. But hopefully, you find this interesting and have fun and you know feel free to change things and see what you can do. All right, we'll see you next one.